mistakes were made. We'll go over that in a little bit. Today, we're going to talk about the expansion of our city, of our village. You can see we're doing some planning of some buildings using some wool in this little area by the tower, as well as in the background here, you can see a couple more spots that we're gonna plan on building. We're not gonna get to those today. They will come up in the next few episodes. Today, we're gonna head on over towards the iron farm because there is, well, just some mistakes were made. Off camera, I was doing some cleaning up, doing some planning and we made a huge, huge mistake. See, it started by thinking that the iron farm was not working. So I headed on this direction. I was flying with my elytra. We flew into the tower to try to see what was going on and landed in the lava. So at this point, we're gonna have to regroup and start over with some gear. That's the first thing we're gonna do today. Since we're a dumb dumb and fell in the lava, we have to start over as we mentioned. So luckily we did some end city raids and got a lot of gear just chilling around. We're going to go through and pick the best ones that we have so far. These depth strider fire protection ones, that should be fine. I don't need that pickaxe. We did find our netherite gear that, that made it through the lava. It went to the sorting system and I found it in the overflow section, which was kind of nice. So let's get these pants, this chest plate on that we didn't lose. This smooth spoon that we didn't lose either but that's a good start we're gonna have to do some grinding we're gonna get some levels up so we can get a sword back and get a hat as well and so here we're just you know going through and found only four emeralds gives us a nice little helmet that's a good start we got all the gear back right now now let's work on getting mending and unbreaking so we head on over to the spider farm to do some afk slash xp grinding here it's just not quick enough so we decide to start trading with the villagers getting a bunch of paper together gonna just go through that we're gonna also you know maybe level up some of these villagers while we're at it and it's been a while since we've really focused on anything like this in trading so we're doing that here getting this journeyman leveled up to the next level which i forget what that's called all right let's get him there let's get him his little circles there they are there's the little bubbles expert now he's an expert and a clock cool we could buy clocks let's get this guy leveled up as well what do you got going here yeah you're an expert and yeah, that's not too cool over here oh you're low glass now well, that's kind of nice and then our favorite villager right here gives us our many books at 10 right now so we'll get four of those after that, we're going to need four unbreaking books. So we'll head on over to that villager next. Get these four books. We don't need five. Let's do yep, yep, four right there. We got our unbreaking. Now we'll just, you know, place these on our armor, do a little bit more XP grinding to make sure we have all of the XP needed to do all of the things to get these combined. One of the things I forgot to mention was I'm grounding myself from Elytra. I've lost three pairs so far in this series. This is the first time we've kind of talked about it. Every death has been off camera, unfortunately, but gosh, this is a long climb up. We're going to ground ourselves this entire episode. No elytra. We're going to have to walk around and feel the pain of it. And we're still going up. Are we even close? We're not even close. Yeah, we're going to feel this pain. So this episode, we're definitely going to feel the pain from not having the elytra, but we're going to come over here. We're going to finish unbreaking on that. Oh, good. We didn't need that book. Uh, that'll do. We don't necessarily worry about the best set of armor. I just like to have unbreaking and mending and usually whatever comes from the enchanting table is fine with me. I'm not too picky. This isn't hardcore or anything. So we're just going to do that. What are we going to call this? Let's call it swipe version three because this is our third diamond sword as well. We definitely need to get some more netherite going and yeah, there's my extra elytra that we're going to just leave there, but we'll put that sword back. We'll come on over here. We're going to grab these de ancient debris. We're going to get those going. I definitely want to add that to the axe. I don't want to lose this. We got an efficiency five axe going and mending on breaking going to be awesome for chopping down trees. We might as well do the sword too. That'll pretty much just leave us with our boots, our helmet and our spoon to enchant. Let's just see this axe has 10 attack sword has eight. Did we even need, do we even need the sword? I don't know. We'll go with the ax for now. We'll use that as our main weapon. But uh, now that we have these shenanigans over with, let's get today's build going and get started right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start building a port. I have always wanted one in this area. So we've started to design it out a little bit. We're going to go with this brick and expand. We're going to curve this wall over a little bit 
turn this into somewhat of an industrial type uh, port where we're bringing in goods. Eventually, we'll start populating the inside of the warehouse we made a couple episodes ago. Yeah, let's get that guy out of here. But let's get going with this right now. So this design that we're doing with this little port, I did in another series as well. I, I don't know if we're going to keep it this way. These lights feel, they feel somewhat amateur. So we're going to change that up eventually. But what I did want to show is what we're going to do next. We we're starting to build out the framework of some two buildings we're going to place down here. These are going to be like the workers that work on the docks and you know they bring the goods up to the warehouse here at this new path that we made leading into it yeah we still haven't done the interior hey ren what are you doing ren but yeah back to this you can see these buildings are going to look pretty sweet continuing with the theme and goal that i set for myself in this world was to build on different heights so we the eye goes to different areas and you can see some buildings in the background are at a higher elevation these ones are going to be the lowest down with the the iron farm and moss farm and that'll be the lowest part of the build and then behind us obviously there's there's all of those taller buildings that are or not taller buildings but buildings higher up on the mountain and we're just doing a little bit of you know decorating of the landscape and getting rid of the flowers and i think it's turning out pretty nice there's some other areas i want to do but we got to let them turn it grass first but let's head on over oh uh, i knew i was going to do that again this area here is going to be the main feature of this episode we're going to add two buildings here I'm really excited about this build. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's definitely one of my favorites so far. After that sweet, sweet time lapse, we did a lot of detailing. Here it is. This is how it turned out. This is definitely one of my favorite builds that I've done so far. I always wanted to have these two building or this two building idea that has a walkthrough that connects the two of them. And I thought it fit perfect in this area. There's still some terraforming and detailing that I want to do in this area, but it's definitely a good start. I want to start focusing on a specific area in this land to finalize it and finish it. And this small block, we definitely got very close to being done. We're gonna finish detailing and terraforming and landscaping some other areas before we start the next episode. I got a lot of things planned and I wanna start getting to them and get those out to you guys so you can see my vision come to life. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast making these so far. Until the next time, I'm Socks Way Up. I'll catch you on the next episode.